Hello dear student, welcome to my new video here Yuraj from EV Talk channel. Dear students, in this video, I am going to discuss with you about the most important and most expected question for your upcoming exam. Already I have uploaded many videos on this topic social science. If you want to watch those videos, I have given a link in my description box. You just go and click on that link, you will get all those videos. And still if you are not subscribed my channel, so please subscribe my EV Talk channel because in my EV Talk channel you will get more than 250 plus videos about English grammar and social science English medium videos even spoken English videos also available in my EV Talk channel. Dear friends, now let's move on the questions. Already I have told you in this video I am going to discuss with you about the most expected and most important important question for your upcoming SNC board exam 22-23. Okay, now let's move on the questions. Very useful questions for your upcoming exam. The first question is on your screen. Which place was called the gateway of European trade? It is a very easy question, you know that. First lesson will be very easy question. Which place was called the gateway of European trade? See there, right answer one bit two. Uh, the right answer for this question is Constantinople. Okay, now let's move on the next question. Second question. Which country had established its trade monopoly over European trade? European countries, sorry. Which country had established its trade monopoly over European countries? The right answer for this question is Italy. Italy was the country had established its trade monopoly over European countries in the See there, third question number two, name screen mele. Who were the first European to arrive and last to leave India? So it is also a very easy question. There are now four Europeans came to India. Four Sikhs came, French, Britishers and Dutch. So all these Europeans came to India. So among those Europeans, who were the first European to arrive and last to leave India? See the, see the right answer. Right answer for this question is Portuguese. Portuguese were the first European who arrived in India and they, they are the people who lived in India lastly. Okay. Fourth question is on your screen. Which countries of European tri Europe which countries of Europe tried to overcome Italian monopoly over trade? Okay. Uh, you have to observe one thing here. In this video I have not only discussed with uh, you know exercise questions also I am going to discuss with some of the extra questions also here so please watch complete video up to end uh, until end okay the right answer for uh, this question is which country of Europe Europe tried to overcome Italian monopoly over trade the right answer for this question is Spain and Portugal okay students I hope you understood now let's move on the next question. The fifth question is on your screen. What was the reason for the decline of power of the Portuguese in India? So try to read the question properly. What was the reason for the decline of power of the Portuguese in India? The right answer for this question is the arrival of the England and French to India. So this is the major cause. This is the major reason. Uh, the arrival of the English and French to India because of these English and French uh, the decline was started Portuguese in our country and the The sixth question uh, is on your screen. Surrender to the British was inevitable for County Lally in 1761. Why? Why it is inevitable for County Lally in uh, surrender to British in 1761? Because see there the right answer for this question is Sir Ayercourt attacked Pondicherry in 1761 because Sir Ayercourt attacked on Pondicherry in 1761 because of these things uh, it is inevitable to surrender surrender to British uh, for County Lally in 1761. Okay. Seventh question is on your screen. What was the reason for the British gained political control over India? So what do you think? Why the Britishers 
gained political control over India. For what reason? You know why? Because, because to protect their business interest in India. So protect their business interest in India. Because of that, British gained political control over India. And the And eighth question is, what was the reason for the British dethroned Mirzapur? What was the reason? Why they dethroned the Mirzapur? Britishers. See there, the right answer for this question is, the British projected Mirzapur as an inefficient Nawab and dethroned him. So British thought that Mirzapur as an inefficient Nawab. Because of that, they have dethroned him. Okay, I hope you understood the Amkutini. So, new friends, could share my video now. Okay, now let's move on the next video. Sorry, uh, not the next video. Uh, let's move on the next question. Okay, uh, ninth question is What was the reason for Martha and Verma compiled an army of 50,000 soldiers? So, what is why? What do you think? Why Martha and Verma compiled an army of 50,000 soldiers? The right answer for this question is to extend the border of Vainar. So because because of because he wanted to extend the border of Vainar, he had compiled an army of 50,000 soldiers. Okay. Now let's let's move on the next question. When did the Dutch East India Company established? Okay. Uh, here you have to be observe one thing. You must. Uh, remember the all the uh, dates you know it is not only about the Dutch East India Company you have to be remember the uh, year of the English East India Company and you have to be remember the established year of the French East India Company and here the question is when did the Dutch East India Company establish it in Tade? so what do you think which is the right answer 1602 yes 1602 is the right answer in 1602 Dutch East India Company was established which was the capital city of French in India? So, which was the capital city of French in India? Answer for this question is Pondicherry. Pondicherry was the capital city of French in India. Now, let's move on the next question. Who introduced the dual government policy in Bengal? Who introduced the dual government policy in Bengal? So, it's a very easy question. Robert Clive. So, Robert Clive was the person who introduced the dual government policy in Bengal. Okay, now let's move on the next question. The 13th question is on your screen. <coughs> when did the Battle of Plassey took place? So, it is also a very important question. When did the Battle of Plassey took place? The right answer for this question is 1757. Okay, in 1757, the Battle of Plassey took place. 14th question. Let's see the next question is on your screen already. 14th question is when did the English East India Company establish? Already I have told you. Already I have discussed with you uh, about Dutch East India Company which was established in 1602 and here the question is when did the English East India Company establish? The right answer for this question is 1600. In 1600 English East India Company was established. Okay. Let's move on the next question. When did the Battle of Baksar took place? So, one second. I already discussed with you now. Dutch East India Company was established in 1602. At the same time, English East India Company was established in 1600. You have to remember another one year is there. So, French, French East India Company was established, established in 1664. Okay. Uh, let's see the next question. It's 15th question. When did the Battle of Baksar took place? Okay, in 13th question, I told you, Battle of Plassey took place in 1757. And what about the Battle of Baksar? When did the Battle of Baksar took place? The right answer for this question is 1764. In 1764, Battle of Baksar took place. Okay, the last question or 16th question. The Third Carnatic War ended with which treaty? So, the Third Carnatic War, war ended with which treaty? And here also, you have to be remember one thing. You must remember, you must know the treaty, all the treaty, not only the third Carnatic War, you have to be remember the first Carnatic War and second Carnatic War also. Okay, the first Carnatic War ended with which treaty, and the second Carnatic War ended with which treaty, and third Carnatic War ended with which treaty. You must remember all the treaty. And here the question is the third Carnatic War ended with which treaty? 
the right answer for this question peristity okay peristity is the uh, through the peristity the third carnatic war and ended okay uh, thank you so much for watching my video uh, if you really like my video please share it to your friends and also uh, don't forget to subscribe my ev talk channel because already i have uploaded more than 250 plus videos in my ev talk channel uh, in those 250 you can also watch many english grammar videos are there very helpful to your upcoming exam and spoken english videos are also available in my youtube channel and here uh, social science english videos, videos are there in future also i think every two three days i'm going to upload new video for you it's about social science expected questions in Vodu, or english grammar or spoken english okay i hope you uh, really like my video on so thank you so much once again for watching my video